What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Defender Pro XT from Otterbox for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's check it out. Alright, so if you've been to my channel before, you know that I'm not a super big fan of this case, but I'm hoping that a slight redesign might have made this a contender for something I could daily drive. The packaging looks exactly the same for all the out of box cases right now basically just based on the size of the case inside this one does list a 5x tested military standard this is supposedly their toughest case which should give your phone the best chance at surviving a fall so right out of the box it talks about their screen protector so it's clearly good for screen protectors sure grip two-piece design and again that 5x military tested mag safe compatible 50 percent recycled material easy access to ports with a cover so to protect it from dirt and grime and all that stuff and lasting antimicrobial protection. Okay, material has that 5G compatibility label and it also tells you that there's a holster you can get for this case. It shows you how to put the case on too. So basically spread the plastic on the side, pull the frame out, lay the phone in, put the frame back over and then press all the way around. Last time, this was a huge pain in the butt. Hopefully this is a little easier on this model. So let's check out the case first though. So you got the ring for the MagSafe, the magnetic charging. So that should work pretty, pretty well. My first impressions are that it feels a little bit more refined from the last XT case that I um, reviewed. The lip on the front is pretty significant. So it should protect your optics very well. The outer edge is a soft plastic. The back is nice and hard. The buttons are soft on this case. And let's get this ring out and see what we got here. Rah. Not too bad. Drop the case in. Goes in very snug. Almost feels like it needs to go deeper, but you can see there's a, a trench around there for the plastic to fit into, the guard. So let's to put it in from the bottom and slide your way up. Hmm. <sighs> I already don't like this. These should go on in like two seconds. Nope. Okay, I'm kind of doing it a little differently, but I'm like smushing it in. So last time I had to use a guitar pick for this to get it to work. Once you get the bottom in, the rest does go, but this case is infuriating. That took way too long and far too much effort for a phone case. Now, if you're getting one case and it's gonna be your forever case, that might be fine, but I like to swap my stuff out pretty often actually, and that's not going to be something I look forward to ever having to do again. But getting past that terrible install experience, the reach into the rocker is okay. Might be hard to see in there, but it's like the top has no yield for your finger, but the bottom does. What I mean is like the curves down so you can get your finger in there on the bottom, but not on the top. They should have continued that here. The buttons are clicky. You can get to all your edges of the screen, no problem. Clearly got plenty of room for a screen protector and it does feel nice and safe and secure, but that install really does aggravate me. So clearly this case is designed to really hold on to your phone and keep it protected. And I don't fault Autobox for that. But what they need to do is include a guitar pick or one of those picks you see in the iFixit cases so that you can get the thing on a little easier. The case itself, 55 grams roughly. And the phone, 241 grams. Together, you're looking at about 296 grams. With the case on, you're looking at about 11.7 millimeters tall. And at the rim around the optics, you're looking at about 14 and a half millimeters height. You're looking at about 87 and a half millimeters. So all in all, would I recommend this case? It depends. If you have one case you're gonna use forever for the life of your phone and you want it to be as secure as possible, this thing's definitely for you. It's got a death grip on the phone, so it's probably not gonna fall out of the case. Plenty of room to get a screen protector on there. It, MagSafe compatible, so it'll definitely wireless charge, and it doesn't look bad. It's got protection for the ports, the cutouts are decent, um, the toggle cutout could be a little bit better, 
But if you're looking for a case to add to your portfolio of cases that you use, meaning you're going to be swapping in and out of this case, I would not bother adding this one. It's too much work to get it in and out. It sounds like a trivial thing, but when you have a 12 or 13 or $1,400 phone to feel like you're beating the phone up a little to get it in is just weird for me. If you have this case, let me know what you think of it. Definitely hit me in the comments below. Thank you so much for stopping by this channel. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up button. If not, the thumbs down works as well. And as always, I appreciate the subscription. Peace.